This video, I'm gonna be talking about hooking up a uh, receptacle for a electrical circuit. So here I have a uh, Decora receptacle. So this is a standard receptacle you would use. Um, it's essentially the same thing as a duplex receptacle. It's just a more decorative style of receptacle uh, is really the only difference to these. Um, on the back, you, you do have these little holes here. Uh, the holes are meant to push in the wire, similar to a GFCI. I personally would recommend against using those. Uh, just going off of my experience over the years, uh, you tend to get a lot of failures when you stick wires in the back uh, push-ins, the, the quick uh, connects. Um, they can expand and contract the metal as uh, throughout the years, especially in outside walls, and you get a lot of callbacks because of that. So what we're gonna be doing is wrapping the wire around the screw. Now we always wrap the wire with the way we turn the screw to tighten it. So we turn these screws clockwise. So we'll be wrapping the wire around sideways. So first thing we have to do when we start to wire a receptacle is we have to make our hooks for our receptacle screws. So I've already made two here and this is what they should look like. And I'm gonna make two more. My strippers are a little bit different than yours, uh, potentially, uh, but they still work essentially the same. Yours will have a little hole right here where you're gonna use it to twist the wire. I did show you in class how to do that. Mine uh, strip up top, but uh, the end result is exactly the same. So again, I take my uh, strippers right in the center there, twist it over, and it makes a nice loop for the receptacle to hook onto, okay? The bond wire should also have that hook. Hook. So you should have uh, in a box with two wires coming into it, one, two, you should have all four wires with the hooks. When it comes to installing the receptacle on the hooks or installing the wire onto the receptacle, um, it doesn't matter what side your line and load is. I'm just going to get the bond out of the way for the time being. Um, all you have to remember is that you wrap your wires around clockwise. So I'm going to do my hot wires first. So I'm going to put one on and they just kind of hook right in. I'll show you a little closer there. So you're going to take the hook and you go through around. Now the wires should not poke out anywhere more than that. You're okay to do a little bit more, but for the most part, that's kind of the right amount for the wire to be poking around the uh, screw. Then you, again, are turning this clockwise to tighten that up. Um, you will be using a green Robertson to tighten these up. Uh, no other screwdriver is acceptable to use these uh, to, to tighten up a receptacle. All right, so we have those too tight. We're gonna flip this receptacle over and we're gonna do the opposite side. Now with this side, because you have the two uh, silver screws, which would be neutral, plus your bond screw, uh, you can put them all three on at the same time. And, and I tend to do that just to save a little bit of time. So we're going to hook that around. Hook. And hook. And then all three are on there. And I just kind of leave some pressure, add some pressure with my thumb to keep them in place. Make sure those screws are going around clockwise again. Tighten up. Pull down, make sure there's nothing sticking up. You want it to look nice and neat. Um, tighten that up. And then the last one, uh, the bond wire, you're gonna tighten that up. And just like that, make sure they're nice and tight. They don't fall out. Check the other side. Everything looks good. And that would be a perfect receptacle.